I've just come down from the north again. I've been to the north so much recently. I went to a high school reunion. It wasn't the entire high school. It was just a reunion of the friends that I had at school that I'm still friends with. So if I sound particularly northern, it's because I've been hanging out with people that talk like this. No, Phil, don't go there. So they say things like pants instead of jeans. Watch Dan's How to Speak Northern video if you want to find out some more northernisms. You can upgrade to first class for £15, which was actually kind of worth it to do, because my train ticket wasn't that much because I booked it ages ago. So I was like, I'm going to just experience the first class lifestyle. I'm going to say, usually it costs about £250 extra to go in first class. So I thought, why not? I was with Dan as well, by the way. We were both living the first class lifestyle on this train. What else did you do up north? Uh, I had some ice cream, hung out with so two lots of friends, because I've got loads of northern friends. So, did Dan go with you to the north? Yes, because he's friends with a lot of the northern people from Manchester. I loved media studies. We did a chocolate bar advert about a fake chocolate bar called Sin. Uh, and the tagline of this chocolate bar was, give in to Sin. And my friend Hannah was the, one of the shyest people at school. And she was in our advert, she was in our group. And we made her dress up in dominatrix gear as a librarian. So the first shot she was a librarian, just like, la la la. And then she ate a bar of the sin. And then she was in dominatrix gear. And then she whipped a pencil pot off the table. And then this really sexual voice went, give in to sin. That was my voice. All of us tried, they chose mine. It was the most sensual. So that was one of them. The second one was, I was like a boss at some kind of place. And then me and my secretary, secretary went off in the cupboard together after having the bar, the chocolate bar. <laughs> I'd love to see that. If I could find that footage. Oh my god. You had the most sexual voice. Kind of serial killer, if we're going to be honest. Give in to sin. And me and Dan were like, it's fine. We've got like 20 minutes to get the train. I mean, that's really not enough time to get the train from our house. Uh, so... I was like, oh, okay, Dan, you go ahead, because I forgot where any of my stuff is. I don't know where my Oyster card is to use the tube. I don't know where anything is. So Dan went ahead and tried to get some train tickets. And then I had to run. I was running so fast through London. And I obviously ran past one of you guys. So they tweeted. They must have said, like, Phil just ran past me. And then everyone was like, why is Phil running? And then there was a hashtag, why is Phil running? Which was so funny. I was like, oh, my God. Because I didn't see it till like, I'd been on the train for an hour. And I was like, what? No. No, someone saw me. That's so mortifying. What I did appreciate, though, is the person that saw me didn't take loads of horrible pictures of me running. So thank you, whoever you are, for just observing what I was doing and not tweeting pictures of me without my permission. Thanks! Uh, that wouldn't have been attractive. I was, like, so sweaty and disgusting. And I thought it was cold outside, and it wasn't. So I was wearing my jacket as well. I was just like... <sighs> And then arrived at the train station, and the stupid trains delayed, so didn't even didn't even massage, M mass didn't even massage, didn't even ha have a massage, didn't even matter. Gosh, thirteen thousand people are watching you. Conspiracy, Illuminati. Where's the triangle? Should zoom in on that and do some X Files music. I don't have my remote. Oh, sorry, just show my crotch to everyone. How good is that? That's tense. Yeah, I used to watch Casualty all the time with my mum. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Put your leg away, Phil. Back and forth to the north. Back and forth to the north. Here we go. My new sunglasses. Do we like them? Oh, I've got a big reflection. Wait, wait. There you go. Now you can see. Imagine I'm on the beach and I'm wearing them doesn't really work if I'm inside. I just look like one of those pop stars that wears sunglasses inside. Why are you like this? I don't know. Hashtag spawn on the sunglasses. Well, that doesn't spawn. I'll give you some spawn. Go to danphilshop.com as we've got loads of new stuff. Make a movie. Maybe one day. Two hours of Amazing Phil. A day in the life of Dan and Phil for two hours released at cinemas. Sounds like an existential crisis. Like a, yeah, what, what is this existence? Don't worry. I'm not going to do a damn. The taste of your lips, I'm in a red. Uh, Bye. But can I end the thing? No. I'm strapped here forever. Okay, I'm going to close it.
I'm going to close the window. Bye, guys.